Hi there again. One of the other questions that I get asked quite a bit about is, is how do you fish with minis? How have you become so successful at catching trout, catfish, smallmouth bass, rock bass, and even some saltwater fish with minis? You'll see a lot of people fish with minis. They'll hook them in the lips. They'll hook them in the back. Um, I actually use a technique some people will call uh, threading a, a mini. Some people will call it, call it uh, sewing a mini. Uh, you see some rigs on the market that they're wire rigs that you go in through the mouth of the fish and come out the vent and use it that way. Uh, I in particular do not like those. They stiffen the mini up and uh, it takes some of the natural movement out of the mini. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you uh, uh, the techniques here that I actually use uh, with uh, fishing uh, uh, for minis. And I use this uh, throughout the year for uh, all species on all sizes of creeks and bodies as water uh, as well. So let me show you in more detail how to thread or how to sew a mini. Uh, first you'll need a special a needle, a needle with the eyelet cut out. This is our number one size needle and our number two size needle. Uh, number two uh, size needle and our number one size needle you can use with uh, fat heads, small shiners, extra small shiners. And then our number three needle you can use with medium uh, shiners to medium large uh, shiners. Um, you'll need a double hook such as this. And a barrel swivel. Now I'm going to show you on fairly large tackle to make it a lot easier. But the first thing that you'll want to do is you want to go and make your, your terminal tackle. So you'll just go ahead and uh, attach your barrel swivel. I actually use uh, a Palomar knot when I'm actually attaching uh, this, this, this swivel uh, to my terminal tackle. And then go ahead and snip off the excess. This end then will go to your fishing line on your rod. And what the barrel swivel does is the barrel swivel allows your mini to have a nice spinning action. That's what makes it very attractive to fish. On this end of your tackle, you want to make a loop. And you want the loop size to be such that it really doesn't uh, come out of the fish. It's, it's a size that it actually remain in the fish. And you can repeat this video over and over again to watch how to tie it. And you'll want to snip it off very, very close. And actually, whenever you attach the hook, it's really a unique design. But what you want to do is you want to lay the loop on the hook, come up between the split shaft, take the loop through the one hook, and then through the other hook. And then as you can see, that creates a a tight fit so the loop will not uh, come off of the, the, the mini. And I'll show it to you again. You'll bring the loop through the one hook and then back around through the other hook. You can see how it wraps around the hook itself. And that's what keeps the loop from coming off the hook. Now for the mini itself. You'll go ahead and select your mini from the genie jar. Go ahead and take your needle, take your tackle, your loop, Take it through the eyelet of the needle. Go ahead and get your mini. Go in the mini's mouth. And you'll slide the, the needle and come on out through the, the bait fish's vent. It'll be very, very easy. There won't be a lot of a friction or anything to do it. Go ahead and hold your mini. Give the needle a little bit of a twist. 
until you see the loop. Now, go ahead and attach your hook to your loop. Again, up in, around the one hook, around the other hook, pull it tight. And then from there, you can go ahead and pull the hook the whole way up into the mini. Now a lot of people say this is very cumbersome and time consuming, it's not. I actually went very, very slow to instruct you. It doesn't really take a lot of time at all. But this really makes the mini almost weedless. And you can see, without having the wire in there, you can see how flexible the mini is and how it's still very, very true. And that's how I fish with uh, minnows. You can go ahead and split shot as, as you want to get the mini to your proper depth. And then the length of this uh, terminal tackle is anywhere from about 18 to 24 inches. And that's the rig that I use uh, uh, all year long uh, when I fish uh, with minis. The technique is the same with lighter weight terminal tackle. The rig uh, that I'm actually gonna be uh, fishing with today is actually a four pound test. You can see uh, my loop. I have two split shot about a foot or so up the line and then you can see my barrel swivel is about uh, two feet up the line. Um, in this case we're using a smaller double shank hook. This is the size 10 and we're actually using a smaller needle. So again you'll go into your genie jar, you'll let the basket come up, the minis are, 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 are nice out of the water, they're dry. You'll select your mini. You'll put the loop over the needle, grab your mini as I have here, and I'm going to use a really, really small mini this time to actually show you actually how, how, how good you can get and how easy it is to, to thread a mini. There you go. Go right in the mini. Spin the needle a little bit. There's your loop. You go ahead and go around one hook, the other hook. And run inside the mini.